is up YouTube Mike back here with another video um, first of all guys I just want to say there's a lot of new subscribers and a lot of traffic on the channel right now from the last video that I produced um, and I want to say a couple quick things before we get into this video the first thing is it really breaks my heart to see people um, bashing this beautiful car and the engine um, you guys know that uh, I've got I've got a, a significant tick and and I know what you're saying so why do you keep making videos about it if you're tired of people bashing it well this is my channel this is my journey and this channel is about truth and putting out my journey and it ain't nothing more or nothing less than that I will always be honest with you guys and I'm going to tell you right now man I love the car in let me just stress this. It has never failed me. Not once, not ever. It's never even thrown a, a, a warning light on me. Um, so I, I just want to make that clear. Um, a lot of guys are bashing a car that don't even own one, and that that kind of just like really, really ticks me off. Some, you know, uh, yeah, it ticks me off. Um, there's guys who have a legitimate gripe and if they want to bash this car all they want and I'm talking about like um, Coyote car guy um, he's got a legitimate complaint he owned the car it took a shit on him and I don't care if he put a blower on it I really don't uh, but you know Maz man comes to mind he's a guy overseas going through this he's been going through this for a while um, but anyways having said all that and this, the video you're about to see, um, is pretty disturbing. Um, you're going to, you're going to hear my video today. Today is February 22nd. Um, this, I wasn't going to put this video out first, but uh, I decided to because it was so bad. So basically, you're going to hear my car today, and then you are going, and me and my buddy Jeremy decided to put a, a, a engine stethoscope from underneath the car uh, on the engine and just kind of see what's going on so um, that's what we did now we're gonna start that video here in the next 15 seconds but I would like to say that we put a new exhaust on this thing um, it's an MB, MBRP uh, racing series It's it's cat back, so it's not catless. And oh my god, dude! <laughs> oh my god, wait till you see that video. So, without me talking anymore, let's get into this one. Yeah, it's pretty loud. I'm gonna. 
Alright guys, we're underneath my 2018 Mustang GT. It's ticking really bad right now. And Jeremy here has got a septic scope. And we want to see what's going on underneath this bad boy. Do you hear anything coming from the pan? What's that? Is anything coming from this pan? That's what everybody says, it's coming from this. Yeah, no, I didn't hear much yet. I, I, it almost sounds like it's coming from like... It does sound like a wheel pan, doesn't it? It does. But if you put the stethoscope on that, there's no... Nothing, there. yeah. Hey. It, when we were outside, it was tapping away like unbelievably. It's almost harder to hear down here. It is. Than it is. You, you would think this would echo. When I go on the part of the block where the cylinders are, you can hear taps in certain cylinders and not others. It's, uh, that being said, it is definitely more audible above the car. I think that's because we're in a pit. No way to hear you. Yeah. Did anything jump out at you? Yeah. Um, it, it sounds like the same piston slap I had in mind. Uh, in fact, I'm going to send you some pictures so you can post up what the, the, the damage the damage was. In all honesty, yours is much worse than mine was. Son of a bitch. From painting my calipers. Uh, see, when you get up underneath the car, you can, uh... That looks a little good. I didn't paint the insides of them because... Oh, you too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not, not quieter now that we're underneath it, but again, I think it's just the uh, acoustics of where we're at. Yeah. I'm curious to see, because right now I'm not hearing nothing, I'm curious to see if I get up here, I'm going to start hearing it. My shoes are slick. Yeah. No, see, it's quieted down. Yeah, I think so. It's weird. Because I, I, I can drive this thing to Columbus, pull in my garage, and it's tapping away. It's just so inconsistent. That, that's the, that's my issue with this. Get in there and rev it one time. If you <laughs> I think it changes RPM with temperature, cost, and everything else. Isn't it? There it is. There it is. I think that's... That's 1,000. Yeah, as it thins out. That's why I've got my thing out there running. Well, guys, the saga continues. Stay tuned. Uh, 
here, here, here in a couple days we're going to change this oil myself. Um, it's had semi-synthetic in it since it had the car. I wasn't aware it was getting semi-synthetic put in it um, until my last oil change. I found that out in my last oil change and uh, I want full synthetic. I, I had full synthetic in my V6 Mustangs. Why wouldn't I put it in this? So there it is. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.